Namaste viewers and on behalf of Ganesh Piping, we wish you all a very successful Diwali and a very happy new year coming ahead. So uh, today we are going to see FPSO. So FPSO is an all-in-one oil rig. So all the facilities are clubbed together on a one single boat which you can see on the screen. So FPSO stands for floating production storage and offloading. So all these functions are put into one single entity that is this uh, FPSO. So today we will be seeing a very fast uh, review of what this FPSO is. Uh, before we begin our uh, video, uh, I would insist you to subscribe to our channel, uh, hit the like button and as much as share you have to do so that this knowledge propagates uh, to all those who are into this profession and who are the learners. Okay. So, uh, moving ahead, okay, so this is basically an FPSO, <coughs> so in uh, this FPSO, here you can see it is basically made from an old oil tanker, so this old oil tanker is converted into FPSO. Uh, there are many companies in Far East, uh, in countries like Singapore, Malaysia, uh, whose core business is basically this kind of conversion projects to FPSO. So FPSO basically we can say all in one uh, rig, oil rig. So here you can find the flare system, then the uh, oil uh, collection system, production collection system of the crude oil, uh, then uh, storage facilities also there, then pretreatment of the crude and again transferring the crude from a FPSO to the other tanker ships. So all this arrangement is uh, put together in one single unit that is this FPSO. So here in the middle you can see uh, the, uh, the system turret which is shown. So at the bottom you can see flexible risers. So flexible risers means what? Uh, we can see here. Okay, so to understand this flexible riser, we will see where this FPSO is applicable. See, uh, in case of uh, shallow waters, we have seen in our earlier uh, topic, earlier videos, we generally go for the jacketed steel platform. Okay, so construction of jacketed steel platform is like a wooden stool. It is uh, mounted on the seabed and uh, the legs of that wooden stool, I am giving an analogy actually, it is not a wooden stool. So it is having a steel legs, those are fastened on the seabed. Okay, so in that case, you are having a structure which is directly mounted on the seabed. But when you go into ultra deep waters like 1500, 1500 meters and above, so in that case uh, construction of that kind of a steel structure directly on the seabed uh, which is coming all the way above the water, that is very difficult and it is very costly. So in that case we go for a floating platform and this floating platform is will serve all the functions of a uh, steel jacketed steel platform topside facilities. So this is called as FPSO floating production storage and offloading. Okay, and all the uh, produce fluid that is the crude oil. I can say crude oil basically produce fluid is a mixture of crude oil along with other impurities, which comes along with the. Uh, crude oil and they are basically mixed up uh, uh, when it is taken out from the crust of earth. So uh, when it is extracted from the seabed, there are subsea oil wells. So these subsea oil wells are uh, mounted on the seabeds and uh, these subsea oil wells are controlled by means of electric and hydraulic signals 
and uh, the basic control lies on the FPSO. So all these subsea wells are again tied back and connected to the FPSO. Here in this image you can see that these are all the uh, controls and uh, controls and uh, pipes which are coming from the cables which are coming from the subsea well to the FPSO. Okay, so we can see that uh, for a single FPSO, number of subsea wells can be tied back, and whatever production that is uh, extracted, that is uh, obtained from this subsea well, can be collected, stored, processed, and then transferred on the FPSO. This is the basic function of FPSO. Okay. So second function, development of marginal reserves, what it means, like if suppose we are into the shallow water, there, there is some uh, seabed which is having the reservoirs, but we cannot, uh, conventionally we will go for shallow water means uh, somewhere around uh, 75 to within 100 meters water depth, we, we, we will consider this to be shallow water. But conventionally, we will go for jacketed steel platform. But jacketed steel platform are not advisable if the content of the hydrocarbon in that reserve is very less. So those are called marginal reserves. So if suppose we uh, construct, if we commission a jacketed steel platform in such case, then the cost of the total cost of the hydrocarbon which is in the reserve will be less very less maybe 10 percent compared to the construction cost of the jacketed steel platform so it is not advisable even though we are having shallow water so in that case also fpso is very uh, useful in that case it is very uh, highly suitable I will say. So development of marginal reserves and all in one facility. You can see here everything is there uh, including the accommodation area is also there. You can see here this is the heli deck and then next to heli deck is the amusement and accommodation area then uh, the, dra the uh, captain the cabin of the seaman is also there. This is the turret system. Turret system basically is, uh, you can see that these are the uh, high tension uh, quality steel uh, ropes actually. And the other end, one end is fixed to the uh, turret system. Here you can see. And the other end is connected to the tethers uh, or basically uh, we can say that steel uh, hooks uh, and uh, these steel hooks basically are uh, hammered into the seabed by means of hydraulic hammer and the, uh, the projecting part which is outside the seabed uh, is connected to the ropes, other end of the ropes which are uh, connected and uh, this is how the FVSO is connected with the uh, connected with the seabed okay it is basically uh, we can say that uh, uh, anchored with the seabed so whenever there is a storm or whenever there is a kind of a very high waves so this fpso will swivel about the turret nothing will happen if there is a very uh, big storm or something uh, uneven will happen so they will close the mouth of all the risers uh, which are from where your uh, hydrocarbon is coming from the subsea wells. They will close the mouth immediately. Uh, they will remove these uh, tethers. They will uncable them. They will remove them from the hook from in the top side and this FPSO will move out like a boat and will reach some secure place nearby station. So this is how the entire system of FPSO. 
so uh, in fpso uh, we also have uh, we also have pre treatment facility not just storage facility so pre treatment facility will include removal of gases unwanted gases then maybe in some cases uh, sulfur removal plant is also installed on uh, fpso wherever it is possible and then the offloading facility offloading facility means whatever storage uh, of hydrocarbon is there on the vessel uh, if required we can uh, uh, whenever there is an oil tanker approaching so we can transfer the hydrocarbon to the oil tanker and from the oil tanker we go to uh, the distribution it will act uh, it will be a part of the distribution chain okay it will be the transport transport will happen by means of that oil tanker so this is all about and uh, this is the basic picture of what we talked about uh, here you can see uh, this is a manifold so this is one subsea well uh, these are the subsea wells 1 2 3 4 5 6 whatever production that is being uh, received from this wells is collected into a subsea manifold these are the subsea manifolds and this is also again a subsea manifold so whatever uh, production uh, is received in this subsea manifold it is transferred to this subsea manifold from this subsea manifold again it is tied to the fpso this is how and these are all the control cables so this control cables basically are Uh, useful for sending the signals input signals and output signal so complex uh, signals are there electronic signals uh, by me by means of which the actual subsea well operates so this is all about and this is the turret actually so here you can see and these are all the tension tank tenders here you can see they are directly fastened on the sea bed and the other end is connected to the fpso bottom turret okay this is mooring anchors so this is how the fpso is anchored in place okay so this is the entire fpso so this is all about a very short introduction of this fpso so we will keep on uh, a detail uh, discussion about uh, different uh, rigs that are used oil rigs that are used fpso being one of them so enjoy this kind of sessions uh, again i would insist you that uh, invite your friends your colleagues who are also into process of learning uh, who are also uh, maybe new or maybe experienced also and uh, they want to increase their uh, domain of expert do expertise in this profession in this field of uh, offshore so do subscribe for our channel and thank you for watching this video